on Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Enjoy a wonderful champagne breakfast, followed by a magical trip to London Zoo. Travel in style with a beautiful chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce for the day. Or stun them all in the sun with stylish, sexy, elegant swimwear. All these prizes waiting to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Thank you. Welcome, boy. What? 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 Yeah. What? Nice Let's to meet you, here. Bill and Bill Pat. Pat. Hello, Hello, Pat. Michael. Nice to see you. Well, where about you from? From Farnborough, Kent. Kent. Farnborough, and Kent. Yes. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> Your shadow. I see. You. And you're married. Oh yep. yes. Very well. Oh yes. Fifty years this year. Fifty years. Whereabouts did you meet? Oh yes, we met at a dance, didn't we? In yeah, Kennington. In the dance, yeah. A dance. Yes. Yeah. So you did the little dance. And yes, and then he seemed to lose. I did. He, I said I'll teach you to dance. See? Yeah. So I went round with him, but he, I didn't do very well, and he lost a bit of interest. Oh, we but lost interest. During the evening, he came over again. When it was time to go home, he asked if he could see me home. <laughs> he asked if he could see you home. Oh yes. After the evening is finished, he said, "I'll see you home." Oh, that was. And nice. I thought it was a bit, you know. And he was a say no bit... more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I love you, love you, love story. Enjoy your evening, Bill and Pat. All right, I love you, Michael. Hi, welcome to the last in the series. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Now you enjoy yourself. Right, it's Brian. And you're not the Brian off the ma magic roundabout, are you, Brian? Uh, no, not at all. Oh, it's like in Boing. <laughs> and Linda. I'm Linda. You're Linda. Right, Brian, what do you do for a living? Uh, electrician. Electrician? Yeah. And Linda? I'm a skivvy in a pub. Skivvy <laughs> in a pub? Magazine pub. In a, yeah. in a magazine pub? Mm hmm. What's that? What's that? Is that in the New name? Brighton. In New Brighton. Yes. Anything else you'd like to plug before we carry on? <laughs> Is that the place? Yes. Yeah, and uh, where did you meet? Uh, we met in a pub, actually. You met in a pub? <laughs> yeah. And was yeah. she working there? She was, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, how did that? How did you sort of chat her up? What did you say? Well, well uh, I think it was just buying a few drinks at the time and took her home in a taxi later on. Yeah. <laughs> she had a taxi and it grew it. on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you had a taxi and it grew on you. <laughs> did you <laughs> still talk to her about this? <laughs> well, welcome, Linda and Brian. Relax and enjoy yourself. Have a lovely evening with us. Okay, Brian and Linda. Hiya, nice to meet you. Pat and Nigel. And uh, what, what, are you married? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, how long? Three, Three years. years. And uh, what's your job? What, what do you do? Um, I'm clerical officer for British Telecom, but what? I used to be a topless model and a kiss the Graham girl. Did you? <laughs> Get back! <laughs> Look, it's starting to move forward now. I see. And you've got a lovely dress on, have you? Oh, you've got a little tattoo. Yeah, good that. Look. How many of them you got? Got another one there. I normally charge ten quid for this, you know. Mind if, uh, no, that was the first thing I see about it when I'm. The first thing you see, we yeah, can't miss it, can you? Miss it, can you? Come round here, let's have a look. Look, look at these. Look, look at that. <laughs> All right, Phil. There, <laughs> <Phil. laughs> get the art going, would it, Bill? There we are. And uh, what's that one? It's just a bird. A bird, yeah. A bird. And the bees. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly. Oh, need to have a look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, butterfly. So I'm just checking. This is, so, uh, uh, is, that, is that it? You're not seeing any more, Michael. Right. That's it. Well, no, 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 Nigel. No, I know how far to go. You ain't seen the fourth one anyway. I haven't seen the fourth one. I said you ain't seen it. <laughs> oh, I ain't seen it. No. No. Well, to, well we change the competition, can't we? <laughs> Guess where the fourth one is, eh? <laughs> hey, Bill. This is Anne. Look, look at that, Bill. Now, what would you have thought, you know, all those years ago, before... <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Get your glasses on, Bill. Yeah, so... Mm. Hey? Yeah. Where's the fourth one, <laughs> No, 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 Bill. <laughs> You've got to guess that one, OK? So, oh, sorry, Pat. It's all right. It's OK. It's will be OK. You can go back now. That's lovely. That's wonderful. All the tattoos. And uh, where did you meet, by the way? 
we met in a, we in met a, in a pub. pub. That was the first thing I noticed about Anne, actually, the, the tattoos, so... That was the first thing you noticed about her? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, what did she you was say? Wearing a, she was, wasn't wearing much that evening, either. <laughs> well, no, that was a job. <laughs> were, were you working at the time, Anne? No, not when I met Nigel. I packed it up by then. Oh, you packed it up? Yeah. So when you did it, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. You did? Oh. Yeah. It's gone very quiet in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... So, so, what, what, what was it... Are they the ones that you noticed? Yeah, they are, yeah. No, so, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the she was bending on. No, we had the light off it's then. It's so embarrassing <laughs> when the head of light and this yeah, is pulls out like that. <laughs> OK, let's get some more stars in here. <laughs> so, that's me out of a career. So, um... <laughs> well, we wish you all the best. All the best Thanks. of luck to tonight. Thanks for showing us your tattoos. Well done, Nigel. Let's do it outside the applause. <laughs> all right, let's play the game. OK, now the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The first couple to get across gets a chance to go into our jackpot tonight and win anything up to £3,000. You tossed a coin earlier on to decide who's going first, so if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give a nice round of encouragement. Here we go. All right, everybody in their places. Tattoos at the ready. Here we go. All right, now, the first category is F-words, Bill. F-words? F-words, yeah. <laughs> OK, two, three or four? Three, please. Three. Please. For your first move, this describes a bundle of sticks. Fucker. And for your second move, this is one side of a many-sided body. Uh, a facet. And for your third move, story not founded on fact. A fable. That's it. Three moves to you, Bill. Yeah. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Right, Pat? OK, I'll just explain the first part of the game here. Now, on each of your moves, you could win a prize. It looks simple, but mixed up in the screen by a computer are up to eight hotspots. You have to decide when to bank your prizes to avoid the hotspot. What is a hotspot? Nope! <laughs> That's it. OK, Pat, you come in here. First screen, strike the screen. There we are. Let's see what you got. A portable colour TV. What do you want to do? Do you want to bank it or risk this? Look at Look at A portable colour TV. Go on. All right, you want to go on? OK, strike the screen. A day out of London Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bank it? It's the portable TV and the day out of London Zoo. Do you well, bank, bank it? Hey? Bank it. You want to bank it? Bank it. OK, they're banking it. They've got those two prizes. All right, here we go. All right, then. On to the next category, which is for you, Brian, and it's wine. Two, three or four. Wine. Uh, two, please. Two. For your first move, here we go. The following wines are produced in which country? Burgundy. France. And for your second move, Frescati. Italy. Italy's right. Two moves to you. OK. <laughs> All right, Linda. OK. First screen, absolutely free to you. So you'd like to come in here. That's it. And strike the screen. A fridge. Oh. Now, what do you want to do? You want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? Yeah, go on. You've got two moves. Oh. OK. Here they come. Strike the screen. Oh! There's the first one. You lose the fridge, I'm afraid, but you're equal there with Pat. OK, we go on to the next category, which is numbers. And it's for you, Nigel. Numbers. Two, three or four? Uh, three, please. Three. Well done. For your first move, how many Dalmatians appeared in the Walt Disney film? 101. And for your second move, how many thieves do you associate with Alibaba? 40. And for your third move, what number do you associate with the false from Navarone? 10. That's it. Three moves for you, Nigel. There we go. Well there, Ed. Off a good run, nice little uh, easy category for him. But that doesn't matter, that's how they come out, isn't it? Yeah, he's done it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, blood. <laughs> right, <laughs> right the screen. 20 LPs of your choice. Go on, go on. Carry go on. on. Okay, Anne. All right, strike the screen. A hundred pound and 20 LPs of your choice. You want to bank that? Yes, bank it. Oh, thank it. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll bank Banking. it. We're banking it. They're right. Those are yours as well. <laughs> All right. Come on to the next category for you, Bill. It's Olivier Films. Olivier, Olivier Lawrence Film. Olivier Films. Yeah. Two, three, or four. Two, please. Two. For yeah. your first move, in which film did uh, Olivier play the part of Heathcliff? Uh, which part? Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is right. And for your second move, in which of these films did Olivier appear with Kirk Douglas in the title role? Role. 
In which of these films did Olivia appear with Kirk Douglas in the title role? I think it's Spartacus. Is, is that a guess? Yes. Good guess. Two moves are yours. All right. <laughs> Very excited there, Pat. You OK? Enjoy yourself. That's Thank it. You. There you go. A hundred pound. Now, do you want to bank that, or is there another next screen? Let's move through. Bank it. Go on. You're going on. OK. There you go. Strike the screen. Rolls Royce. Oh. 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 Right, Bill. OK. You can see them all right, I think. Can you yes, see yes. Lovely. Oh, you a bit bewildered. You're lovely. You're lovely. <laughs> 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 Good luck, Bill. <laughs> Next category, writers and their regions for you, Brian. Writers and their yeah, regions. Two, two, please. Two? Yeah. OK, for your first move, with which part of Britain do you particularly associate the writer James Herriot? Lake District. Sorry? The Lake District. Is wrong, I'm afraid. So it comes to you, Nigel. Which part of Britain do you particularly associate the writer James Herriot? Yorkshire. Yorkshire is right. And for your second move, with which part of Britain is the novelist Thomas Hardy usually associated? Thomas Hardy? Take Wales. Hey? Wales. No, that's wrong, I'm afraid. So, Bill, you can take these two moves. Which part of Britain is the novelist Thomas Hardy usually associated? Uh, Dorset. That's right, you've got the two moves. There you are. OK. <laughs> Right, Pat. Doing very well. Strike the screen. 150 pounds. Thank you. You're hanging up the money now. Thank you. Hanging it. OK. They're keeping the money. Well done. All right. We come on to the next category for you, Brian. It's love songs. Two, three or four? I'll try three. Three. Well done. OK. For your first move, who had a number one hit with All You Need Is Love in 1967? Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles is right. And for your second <coughs> move, who had a number one hit with a song called Under the Moon of Love in 1976? Body Body. Quite please in the audience. You must have no help. Thank you. And who got to number one in 1973 with Young Love? Donny Osmond. That's right. Three moves are yours. Well done. <laughs> OK. All right. OK, Linda. OK. Yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah, when you like. Two weeks in Ibiza. Oh. 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 Are you thinking about it? Go yeah, bank keep it. it. Bank it, yeah. Uh, that's a very good idea. Yeah. You don't want to lose it. Two weeks in Ibiza. There we are. There we are. Worth answering the questions for? It was, yeah. Yeah, right. Volcanoes. For you, Nigel? Um, two, three or four? Two, please, Michael. Two. For your first move, which of these volcanoes destroyed the ancient Roman town of Pompeii? Which of these volcanoes destroyed the ancient Roman town of Pompeii? Um, Vesuvius. And for your second move, which of these volcanoes is on the Mediterranean island of Sicily? Etna. That's right, two moves are yours. There we go. <laughs> Good competition going on here. All right, come in a little bit, Anne. That's it, strike the screen. Oh, well, you haven't lost anything. You've got one move across. That's the way to play the game. Come over to you now, Bill. And the next category is Rivers in Britain. Two oh, or three. You've Britain. only got three screens. Uh, I'll have three, please. Will you? Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Rivers in Britain. For your first move, which is the longest river in Great Britain? The Thames. No. Nope. I'm oh. afraid it's not. So just uh, it's over to you, Brian. You've got a chance now. Which is the longest river in Great Britain? Uh, the seventh. And for your second move, which is the longest river wholly in England? The Thames. And um, for the third move, which is the longest river in Scotland? The Clyde. It's not, I'm afraid. So you've got a chance now, Nigel, for three moves. Which is the longest river in Scotland? Tay. That's right, you take the three moves. It's OK. <laughs> All right, Anne? Oh, cut it out, I say that. <laughs> Just call that, Nigel. Yeah. Put her in line, put her in line. Get off! Oi, I was only helping. <laughs> well, you can do it. See, it don't work for me. A weekend in Stratford. Carry on. <laughs> Stratford, what? Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Nice place, oh, Stratford. East... Carry on. Go on, go on. That's East London, isn't it? Stratford. Hey? Go East... East London, isn't it? Stratford. Not that. Stratford. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's in East London. <laughs> The other Stratford. Oh, sorry. You sorry. know, we're in with the doublets lives. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Where it works. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> old Shakespeare, old Shakey, I know him, he's in the East End. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go there anyway now. <laughs> All right, next category. We come now to again to you, uh, Bill. Two or three. The category is who was Prime Minister? Two or three? Uh, try three. You try three. Good luck. Who was the Prime Minister at the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939? Uh... Who was the Prime Minister at the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939? Chamberlain. And for your second move, who was Prime Minister at the time of the Suez Crisis in 1956? Oh, that was Anthony Eden. It was. And for your third move, who was Britain's Prime Minister at the end of the First World War in 1918? 1918, Lloyd George. Three moves of yours. Okay. <laughs> Start with the he does. Right, the screen. Oh, oh. After all those questions, don't seem fair, does it? Never mind. OK, we come on to the next category, which is for you, Brian, and it's African, African countries. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, which of these African countries has a Mediterranean coastline? Libya. And for your second move, which of these African countries was formerly a Portuguese territory? Mozambique. Mozambique. Guess? Yeah. Yeah, well done. <laughs> All right. Okay, Linda, I'm making a good race of this one. Strike the screen. He is clever, isn't he? You didn't know all that, did you? <laughs> 200 pounds and a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you're, got, you're keeping it? All right, yeah. you've got 200 pounds. Take that on your holiday. There we go. All right, we come now to you, Nigel, and it's signs of the zodiac. And you've got three, two or three. Signs of the zodiac. Depends yeah. on how well you know your zodiac. Signs. Mm. Three. Two, three. Two, two, please. Two, please. Two. All right, what is the sign for Taurus? What is the sign for Taurus? Two. Bull. And for your second move, what is the sign for Gemini? The sign for Gemini? Um. Must have an answer. What is the sign for Gemini? <coughs> Just take a guess if you're not sure, Nigel. Sort of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Gemini. Take, if you don't know at all, it's best just have a stab at it. Rain. It's wrong, I'm afraid, Nigel. Sorry about that. So, chance for you now, Bill. What is the sign for Gemini? Twins. That's right, you take the two moves. OK. <laughs> all right, Pat, strike the screen. A leather briefcase. Nice prize. <laughs> You're back in. You're going on. All right, strike the screen. Folding bicycles and the leather briefcase. All right, now this is the point of the show where you've got to decide whether you want to bank those prizes or answer the main strike it lucky question. We're going to ask you what you're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. All right, we'll see you after the break. All right, see you then. Bye. <laughs> Strike it lucky. Now, the situation we've got, we've got Anne just over there on the halfway mark, Linda just behind, and Pat's up here on the main strike it lucky question. Right, you had a chance during the break to decide what you're going to do. Do you want to back those prizes or answer the jackpot question and go on to tonight's final? Bill? Answer the question. Answer, answer the, question. the question, please. Right, I'm going to ask you this question. You can confer as loud as you like, then I'll ask it again, and I must have an answer. You get it correct, okay, you'll go on tonight. Here we go. You could say you've struck it lucky when you celebrate your ruby wedding. How many years will you have been? Eh? Forty. You going for that? Forty. You're going over tonight. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Up to you, Anne. Good luck, your husband. There we go. All right, Linda. There we are. Well done. <laughs> oh, you imagine it's there, so you know that one. All right, then, let's tell you what you've won. Anne and Nigel, you're not going to go away empty-handed. You've won 20 LPs of your choice and £100. And thanks for being thanks with us and much. a lot of fun. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, thank you. Good. Well done. Give a nice round of applause. Brian and Linda. You've won £200 and a couple of weeks in Ibiza. Have a lovely holiday. Enjoy your time there. Thank you thanks for being nice with time. us. Thank you. And, uh, all of you will get a memento of the show. You get to, uh, to take home with you, so you can play the game at home, all right? And let's tell you now, Pat and Bill, what you've won already. You've won a portable colour TV, a day out of London Zoo, a Rolls Royce for a day, £250, a chance to make that up to £3,000. Let's give them all a nice round of applause. <laughs> Pat, you come first. <laughs> Bill, come first. <laughs> all right, here we go. Pat, you like to stand just here, face me. Bill, just beside the right there. Here we go.
All right, now, this is how we play the end game. You move across as before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'm going to ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screen there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. For £2,000, no more than three hotspots. And £1,000, no more than four hotspots. We've got a different system on this particular series. If you go for our top money of £3,000, and you fail to get across, we're going to give you £300 for every move you make successfully, but not for the hotspots. The same for £2,000, it'll be £200, and for £1,000, £100. All right, then? Yes. So you've got to make your mind up. Before you do, the computer will jumble them all up. Right, that's it. They've gone. What are you going to go? £1,000, £2,000, or £3,000? And the prize you've got already, they're yours. What do you think they should do? One, two, or three? <laughs> You go for it, they go for the three thousand and this was a black Okay. You stand there. Best of luck to you. Take your time. Here we go. All right then. For the first one, for three hundred pounds on this one, and hopefully right away the cross for three thousand pounds. The top, middle or bottom? Top. Oh, top. top one. Oh. That's not a very good start. Okay, we'll allow you one more. Never mind. It's yeah. been done already. We've got well across with that start as well. Top, middle, or bottom? Bottom. Top. Top. Top again. We don't want a hot spot. That's a question. Okay. This is true or false. June the fourth is American Independence Day. True or false? True. It's true. 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 You say that's true? True. No. I mean, it's false, I'm afraid. It's uh, July the 4th. I'm sorry about that, Bill and Pat. That so that's your two hotspots gone, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You cannot afford a hit anymore. No, okay, no. come a little bit forward. Don't worry, all is not lost yet. Okay? Top, middle, or bottom? No, we don't want a hotspot. The top one, the middle, or the bottom? Top again? Top one? We don't want a hotspot? It's another question. Now, you get this right, we've got our first £300. Okay? The Gideons are an organisation who distribute Bibles to hotels. True or false? It's true. That's true. Your first 300. There we are. Run away. There we go. <laughs> Stand there, Pat. Yeah. All right. Top, middle, or bottom? You've got 300. Should we have the top? Yeah. I think we'll have the top again. You're going there again? Yeah, we're trying for the you top. You sure? Yeah. All right. You want to go where you like. That's it. The top one again. Oh, it's another question. Okay. Oh. A full set of adult human teeth consists of 42 teeth. <laughs> I can't do Can I get yours? Can't mind. <laughs> right, have yours gone? <laughs> He's just poked his eye out there, love. All right. He'll try and win for you, don't worry. There we are. OK, so <laughs> I'll ask you the question again. Think about it. A full set of adult human teeth consists of 42 teeth. True or false? I'm going to say... Uh, 42. True. True. Oh. No. Uh, is that what you're going for? It's 32, I'm afraid. Oh. That becomes oh. Osborne. Never mind. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Come down here. Come here, Pat. Just stand there. All right. Bad hut. Well done. You went very game on it. Just stand here, Bill. That's yeah. Let's have a look at the screen. Let's see where they all were. They are Bill, if you look at them now, you can see where they all are. Oh, yeah. Nasty yes. little things. But never mind, you're not going to be very game to go for the big money. You're taking with you tonight a portable colour TV, a day out in London Zoo, a Rolls Royce for a day, £250 you won early on, plus the £300, that's £550 oh, as well. You yeah. enjoyed yourself. you a lovely couple. That's all we've got time for. So we'll see you at the same time next week. Good night, God bless. All right, good night. Thank you. Good night. Two, three, or four moves. Another strike it lucky on the way in just a mo. So stay with us for more Barry Moore. And it's new here on Challenge. Over on Pick next, there's more trouble out on the roads of New Zealand. But luckily, the highway cops are on the way.